Hi, I'm Vincent Baez, your state representative in the 42nd Legislative District. It's been a busy first month of the 2017 legislative session. With a few months left to get the people's work done, lawmakers are busy considering bills in committee. In just a matter of time, we'll be on the House and Senate floors voting on some of the proposals making the way through the process. Like I said in my last video, solving McCleary, the state Supreme Court's K-12 funding decision, tops lawmakers' priority list this year. While we have a long way to go, I'm encouraged by the volume of conversations taking place about our budget priorities. Recently, Senate Republicans released their K-12 funding plan. Their plan, dubbed the Education Equality Act, is comprehensive, student-centered, and would ensure our students are receiving a quality education that makes them competitive for higher education institutions and the job market. The proposal would increase beginning teacher pay and would provide for performance measures to evaluate school district success. Also of note is the plan's adoption of a per pupil funding system that would ensure every child receives an equitable education, which was at the heart of the McCleary ruling. House Democrats released their plan a few days following the Senate Republicans release, and the governor released his plan in December. No plan is perfect, but we'll continue vetting ideas and solutions in the coming months. I serve on the Appropriations Committee, which will consider the funding proposals that come forward, as well as other bills with fiscal impacts. I look forward to bringing you updates as session progresses. In my last video, I also talked to you about the Hearst decision, which called into question permit-exempt wells in Whatcom County and throughout the state. Several bills have come forward that would address elements of Hearst. Two, in particular, are bills I've sponsored. One would require the full hydrologic cycle be taken into account when reviewing permit-exempt well uses and water right applications. It seems basic to me that changes in land use, such as tree removal that could result in groundwater recharge, should be considered when applications are reviewed. My other bill deals with the legality of available water as it relates to the relinquishment process. While Hearst is mostly about rural domestic water, it also poses challenges for septic systems. I've sponsored a bill that would strengthen current septic laws by making the inspection process affordable and effective. I recently testified in support of the legislation during the House Environment Committee hearing and hope to see the bill move through the legislative process this session. I've been humbled by the amount of people from our district who have made their way down from Whatcom County so far this year to participate in their state government. Thank you for visiting and testifying on bills. It's important your voice is heard in Olympia. If I can ever be of assistance to you, please don't hesitate to contact me. Again, thank you. It's an honor representing you.